Mount Baldy. Finally, we are here. And of course, the dynamic duo. And we are headed up the uh, a loop trail that we are gonna make from Manker Flat up the Ski Hut Trail up to Mount Baldy, which is about 10,064 feet. <coughs> and, <laughs> and then make it down Devil's Backbone Trail to back to the car. All right, starting off with the soft shell pants for me and two layers, but I could probably start with one layer on the top, not bad. We are headed up. We believe that that is Mount Baldy in the distance. And a better view of Mount Baldy. Must be the bowl up there, right below. All right, can you tell which way this trail is headed now? <laughs> 14 minutes into our hike, and I pulled a Mount Zion, almost. Oh, no. <laughs> so we're headed back to the car because I'm pretty sure I didn't lock it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, there we go again. Bit of elevation gain. Oh, you can actually see the road down there where we were. And uh, it's that San Bernardino Valley or out in the distance. All right, we've just taken our turn off off the Ski Hut Trail, we hope, um, or the Baldy Bowl Trail, I think it's officially called. Much less maintained and steep and gravelly here. Reminiscent of the Mountaineers route, Mount Whitney. All right. What are these things called? Some sort of register? Yeah. Usually we see them at the summit. <laughs> log. <laughs> but uh, here we go. <clears throat> oh, now we see her. Must be the bowl and Mount Baldy. And some areas of the trail are patches of ice you have to negotiate through. But so far, no need for micro spikes. And the view back down. All right, our first formal break. Strip down to a single layer. Fuel up, hydrate up. And pee down. All right, after our formal break, we had to take a quick stop here to put our micro spikes on. It's just been starting to slide too much, and as you can see, we're getting some snowfall off these trees, so it's getting a little cold. we got to head off. Pulls out, micro spikes on. Onward. Onward. All right, this is a pretty neat design here as we continue on our journey. Wow, look at that. That's what's been falling on us as it melts. And as it gets to the ground, it looks like shards of glass. Okay, nice icicle. Leo should be in some of the video. <laughs> At least one shot. This could be the final one. <laughs> Never know. I mean, because I might not take any more video. <laughs> not because he won't be with us. <laughs> this might not be the best place to stand. Get speared. Right. Whoa! <laughs> okay, this is how we get drink a drink of water in the wild. Um, stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't show a nice yeah. location. <laughs> well, poison oak. Can you hear that? <laughs> All right. As the sun melts the ice, we have this ice fall. Reason why some people were recommending helmets. But that's not the way we roll. <laughs> Not the way we roll downhill. <laughs> There's some. Wow, yeah, and so beautiful. All right, I think we see Ski Hut. I'm thinking that's Mount Baldy just in the distance. And right in the middle of the green structure. Let's see. Oh, there. There it is, right in the center of the screen. Must be the ski hut. All right, we're here at the ski hut. We're only maybe a little over two miles in, averaging a little faster than one mile an hour. Look at all the gemstones on the ground. San Antonio Ski Hut. Oh, it's locked. We're at 8,300. Uh, yep, 8,300 feet built in 1937. Oh, look at this. Huh. Hey. <laughs> this is a motto. Alright, that's our view from the hut. And Mount Baldy, leading up to Mount Baldy behind us. Yes, we have donned our crampons. All right, we're headed off. All right, here we go. All right, if this isn't full on snow, we don't know what is. And we're headed up there. You can see that, but these little Slag mites, <laughs> tights, mites. mites are, they almost look like they're just floating in air <clears throat> and balancing on their own. Huh. Oh, there, I see those. I've had a little bit too. That's neat. The connection has melted. Yeah. <laughs> a la cumbre, we are here. We think. <laughs> The only other possibility is that peak over there, but I think that that's lower. And I think we really are at the junction of uh, are the track that we're following, so I, I believe this is it. So it took us about, uh, we're at about 10,000, well, I guess 80, approximately. And about five hours. It took us almost five hours. No, I take it back, we had to turn around, so four and a half. And then, uh, let's see, four and a half, uh, and we're how many miles in? Okay, I think I saw 489 on mine. Alright, so we again, looks like there's a little windbreak, someone has built here. And let's see what else is up here. All right, so it's confirmed. This is Mount Baldy. The other peak in the distance is West Baldy. And we are here, thank goodness.
All right, so we're setting up for our photo, and we will head on down. That's probably San Gorgonio, maybe, or San Bernardino. Yeah, something. All right, this is the view. This is the part of the hike you don't tell your wives about. So you can see our footprints coming through there. And then we had to make our way on that side of the rock. And it was hard icy. That was really sketchy. So there we go. All right, look at that knife edge. We've just passed the sketchy part and now we're on the knife edge and we've got a group of four ahead of us. Eric was nice enough to uh, let them use the uh, his uh, trekking pole. All right, we're almost there to the ski hut, or not ski hut, but to the top of the ski lift. And music to our ears as the, we go downhill and chase the snow. We are here, we're gonna, after Eric's recent fall, that was a sign that we should take the ski lift down. So here we are. Yahoo! Mountain Dew! <laughs> this is the life. <laughs> this is how you hike down. <laughs> And no, I did not turn the GPS off. <laughs> We're getting credit, full credit. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. You can see the ocean there in the distance. Chair. All right, we did it. This is one of the monkeys on our back. Kind of. Yeah, I would say so. <clears throat> right. It's been on our list long enough. Okay. Right, we're back at their car, and here are our stats. Almost nine hours. About ten, about ten and a half miles. Yep. And the night was the 1919. That's our finishing pace. Finishing so that's pace. Oh, okay. Irrelevant. Okay, so we're here. We've done it. We have done it. And our car is still here, yay! <laughs> <laughs>